Jason and I to cancel each other out so you could be free and clear. If we find Michael and Christina, bring them home. And they better not be hurt. Oh, you know what? I can't vouch for anyone's safety. He'll just have to deal with the consequences on on so many levels. Christina? Huh? You put that kid in a coma, and you have been messing with his head from the moment he woke up, and now you're gonna send Jerry Jacks after him? You are one crazy bitch, and you deserve whatever you got coming to you. Those are the only internet cafes you can find, are you sure? I, I will keep searching, but... My, my thoughts seem determined to wander. I mean, surely the, the proud patriarch, right? once he gets over that initial dismay, he will acknowledge that my love for Maximista is sincere. Well, sometimes sincere love is not enough, no matter how true it is. Perhaps Fierce Smith is projecting her own romantic heartbreak and past upon my current situation? Oh, uh, I guess it's possible. Ooh. You see, the, the path to Maximista's heart was, was twisting and, and perilous, but it's taught me to never abandon hope, because when all seemed lost, Maximista and the Jackal refound their love, and now, now, it, now it burns brighter than ever. <laughs> Come on, let it burn. Enjoy it. Why get married, Spinelli? Because marriage house would seal our love and keep it safe forever. <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't I don't mean to throw cold water here, but sometimes no matter how badly you want something, it just doesn't last, whether you're married or not. Even I can discern that first method is referring to her past with Stone Cold. It's the tender song that allows any relationship to heal and grow and may cause true love to awaken and bloom once more. Just a shock, you know? I mean, my mom brought me up all on her own. She's this great lady. I don't want to see her getting hurt. Well, I can understand that, but, uh, you know, I've never had a deal with my mom going out with a younger man, but uh, I did have to live with a son of a bitch. She married. Mm -hmm. Mike was around? Well, you know what? He was around here and there. He'd come and go, but my mother couldn't depend on him, but she did the best she could have given me a, a, a good home. And your mother did well in bringing you up alone. But you know what? If, uh, if this guy is not a, a good person, he can be encouraged to in the relationship. Thanks. I think he's a stand-up guy. It's my mom, and she's losing her flipping mind. So put that on the list. So are you calling it a night then? That is it. I am done. What do you want to do? You want to go to Jake's? Uh, no. My friends will be too far gone by now. Besides, I'd much rather go home with my husband. Oh, such a perfect answer. You know, I know you bring all that work home with you. 
I know I'm carried away with this, but you know what? Andrea Floyd is also carried away with it. She is determined not to let Brianna Hughes' death ruin her husband's career in politics, even if she has to spend the entire thing on Alexis. You're incredibly single-minded. It drives you insane, I know. No, I was going to say that Alexis is very lucky to have you as a friend who believes her. I mean, all of the pictures and measurements show that Brownie's injury was struck by a blow from someone swinging right to left. So whoever hit her had to be right-handed, and Alexis just proved she was left-handed. We saw Alexis catch keys with her left hand. It doesn't and necessarily prove anything. She told us that she was left-handed. It would have been incredibly awkward for her to swing right okay. to left. Do you want me to play devil's advocate, or do you want to wait for a lawyer to do that in court? I know none of this is ready to go to trial, but how much do you want to bet that Andrea Floyd is right-handed? How could you set Jerry Jacks loose on a couple of kids? Huh? What were you thinking? The man is insane. They're going to have no defense against him. And once he's used them to get to Jason, he's probably going to kill Michael. And God knows what he's going to do to Christina. Were you thinking? Did any of that ever cross your mind? I don't hurt him. He won't. You wanted revenge, didn't you? You called Jerry because you wanted Michael to pay for an accident. Song. Turns out he never even committed. Hi, Paul Beckman. Paul Amber song. Created. August 5th, 2009. Mm -hmm. Jason, Using the did guitar you realize cards. that I probably would not be alive if not for Jason Morgan? So. You do understand that? That I saved his ass and he G7 saved mine in that minor. crazy ambush that you orchestrated? It's going to be called Jason the crazy does not get kid shot, all. Claudia. <laughs> Jason would not put together some half-ass hit because he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He's cautious. He thinks things through. He would never. The craziness of it all. Sometimes you just gotta laugh. I'm done. The craziness of it all. Sometimes you get the last laugh. The craziness of it all. You just gotta take a look at the world. All the things they just don't understand I just give them the world A look at it as the craziness of the world Don't pay it no mind If it doesn't fit into your logic Don't undermine It's just the craziness of the world And all that goes with it People's choices and their deep there you love me, it doesn't matter, be as mad as you The craziness world. of the world you know, A laughable it. matter now You can find the sunny sides And the darker ones you know, The craziness of the world got that. The craziness of the world 